Welcome to Espresso Engineering. I'm Mike Violette. Today we're going to invite some of our engineers to the cafe. On this first program, we're going to begin with the fundamentals, the decibel, and then we're going to go over power conversions. And finally, to demonstrate these concepts, we're going to take a tour back in the laboratory. So come on along. What are the fundamental issues facing engineers today? Uh, we have to get down to the fundamentals. Um, how about the, the decibel? The decibel is in everything we test, really. I mean, all the standards we use. All right, now you're talking. Let's dissect the decibel. The decibel. That would be great. You guys know where the term came from? No. Do you want to know? Sure. It well, would be awesome. Well, it was named after, in honor of Alexander Graham Bell. Uh-huh. Now, we know who that guy was. He invented the telephone, amongst other things. And in the 20s, the engineers at the Bell, Bell Company wanted to have a unit of measurement that could be used to show the loss of audio signal over a mile of communication cable. Uh -huh. So they named it in honor of, of Alexander Graham Bell. Well, the Bell is a big number. It's a log of a ratio of powers. And it was too big. It's too wieldy. So shortly thereafter, they used it. They used the decibel, which is one-tenth... <laughs> One-tenth one -tenth of, of a bell. <laughs> so now we use the decibel, the dB, when we're using uh, calculations. Later on, in the 1960s, thereabouts, the dB was introduced and set into the common use of uh, international units. So let's take a look and see what the dB comes from. Well, originally, like I said, it was a loss. And in order to calculate this loss, we use logarithm as a, as a way to compress the scale. Because when we use electrical engineering, we talk about very large numbers like kilowatts or hundreds of watts. And we use very small numbers like milliwatts or microwatts. And those are very large scales. So the logarithmic function compresses that to make it an easy to use function. So classically written, the logarithm expression 10 log P1 over P0 is used to uh, express a decibel quantity. P0 is the reference unit. And it could be in terms of watts, milliwatts, microwatts, or kilowatts. Anything that you deem would be a, a, a convenient measurement. Now, often in RF, we use uh, quite often milliwatts for the types of devices that we use. So our reference level is often in terms of dB above one milliwatt, where the power we are measuring, this P1, is implicitly referenced to one milliwatt. So we leave the P0 on. So there's the reference right there. P0 dBm is equal to 10 log P1. And this would be the measured power. Now, other derivations of this unit, when we want to talk in terms of voltage or current, and we often make voltage and current measurements, we can talk about a voltage measurement in terms of a dB quantity. And let's use volts in this case, reference to volts. And if we use the same quantity expression, 10 log, we're going to ex exchange the power quantity, which is V squared over some reference, usually 50 ohms, V squared over R. And then the voltage reference here is assumed as well. Now we know that we're using the same resistance measurement when we, resistance value when we measure this voltage. So these two terms basically cancel we're talking about voltage as a reference to dB volts. So what we end up with is 10 log V squared, which is our measured voltage. The logarithmic expression, we take a squared voltage and we move the 2 down in front of the exponent here. So we end up with 20 log of the voltage that we're measuring. So hence, in, power, in voltage and, and in current measurements, we use a 20 log expression 
whereas in power measurement we go back to the 10 log. So that's the derivation of that. Nice. Now maybe we can look at that in, uh, in the laboratory and see if that uh, expression holds out. Sure. That'd be great. Easy enough to do. Let's go. Okay, I think we've probably figured this out. We're going to go ahead and show you the conversion. In uh, EMC, we use a uh, conversion factor 107 dB microvolts is equal to 0 dBm. It's a convenient way to trade back and forth. So if we de derive this, we're going to start with a 50 ohm standard load, which is uh, standard in uh, EMC measurements, and assume that there's one milliwatt of power being dissipated by that, by that resistance. One milliwatt is equal to zero dBm. And if we go back to first principles, we know that power is equal to V squared over R. And what we're trying to find is V. So let's rearrange this equation. V squared is equal to P times R. P is equal to 1. R is equal to 50. So our equation then is V squared is equal to 50. And if we convert this 50 into watts, which is our basic reference, because they're talking about volts, we want to have the same reference as watts. This is going to be equal to 0 0.05 milliwatt ohm, the proper units. So if we take the square root of this, V is equal to the square root of 0 0.05, and that solves to 0.223 volts. Now we're interested in the conversion from dBm to dB microvolts. So we need to find this term in terms of dB microvolts. So first we'll find out what it is in terms of dB volts. 20, remember that, log 0 0.223, and that comes out to be approximately minus 13 dB volts. Now we know from uh, definition that one volt is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6 microvolts, and if I can convert that to dB, one volt is equal to 120 dB microvolts. So I'm going to take 120 dB microvolts, subtract my 13, and I get 107 dB microvolts, which satisfies our equivalence of 0 dBm is equal to 107 dB microvolts. Wow. I almost remembered that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. Well, I barely did. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe now we can go down to the lab and take a look at how that stacks up on a piece of equipment. Sure. We're at minus, right about minus 50. Minus 50. Minus 50 dBm, and we learned at the chalkboard that the conversion to dB microvolts would be to add 107, so it should be right around 47. So we're currently on a peak, um, and the measurement is 47.7 dB microvolts, and I will change the reference to dBm. We're now at a minus 59.30 dBm, um, so if you add the measurement in dB microvolts to this measurement, you will see that it adds up to 107 with no change in level. As you see, the signal didn't change in amplitude. It's the same signal. It just is showing how the, the analyzer itself does that conversion from dB microvolts to, to dBm. And it is indeed that 107 that we had seen previously. <laughs> Well, that's just about it for this premiere edition of Espresso Engineering. We hope it was a bit informative. Now that we got a few things covered, like decibels, conversions, and antenna factors. Yeah, there's more, of course. There's standards, test methods, troubleshooting, other techniques. So until then, uh, send us your inquiries. Uh, check us out online. Send us a note to uh, info at espressoengineering.net. 
Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys. Thank you Thank very you. much.